Hello guys, I've been receiving a lot of requests on how I did the GRF edits with the gutter lines, the grey tiles and all that. First of all, I don't have a script made for this video so please bear with me as this guide may appear boring all throughout. So first step and first thing you'll need to do is download and install the GRF editor. It's a program I've used for quite a long time already. Just google the GRF editor and it could be on the first link which is from our Athena or Athena, whatever you want to call it. I'll place the link in the description if you need it. This program isn't mine and I don't want to take credits out of this. So props to whoever made this program. After you're done installing with the GRF program, step 2 is make a copy of your original Ragnarok folder. Name the folder whatever you like. Mine says edit JRF, potato, whatever. And then let's just wait for this to finish. Oh, and do this at your own risk. This could get you banned, but I don't think the devs have a way of detecting who's using edited JRF since it's client sided. And I don't want to go much deeper explaining what client sided is, what server sided is point is do this at your own risk and I'm not liable for your accounts. Uh, once it's done, let's go to step 3. Open the GRF editor program. Mine already have contents in it, uh, yours should be empty, so I'll just close the recent GRF and on your screen it should look like this. Now go to file, then click open, then locate the data GRF on the newly created Ragnarok folder. Minus edit GRF folder. Step four click on tools and then click on flat maps maker. It will open a window. Just click on Texture Maker and change the color whatever you prefer. Be sure to make cell types 1 to 5 darker, or those are non walkable tiles. Cell type 0 is the walkable tile. <gasps> walkable, is it even a word? <laughs> whatever gutter lines 1 and 2 i recommend adding a tint of these styles so you can easily determine which styles not to use the bowling bash skill make sure to check all these boxes too and if you're done click the generate maps on the left panel then click generate maps this will take a while so I'll probably fast forward this section. After it's done generating, it will open a folder with maps.jira file in it. Disregard it for now, just don't close it. Step 5 and the last step is to make two folders. Call it maps and texture. 
copy the generated maps.grf file and paste it on the maps folder. Locate the texture output images by clicking the texture output images folder. And then copy all the files and place it on the texture folder. On the left side of the GRF editor program, there's a texture folder. Click on it and then uh, on the texture images folder, highlight all of the images and drag it onto the program. And then press save by clicking on file and then save and then wait for the program to load then after it's finished close the data.grf by clicking on file and then close grf and then open the maps.grf Highlight all of the files in the maps.grf and then extract it onto the maps.grf folder. Let's highlight all of the files except the maps.grf. Let's close the data.grf again by clicking file and then close and then open the data.grf. Then lastly, uh, click on the data folder on the left side panel of the program and then drag and drop all the files from the maps GRF folder into the program and then hit file and then save wait for the program to load and then that's it So congratulations, you already have a custom GRF. That's it. If you have questions, feel free to write it on the comment section. If you find it helpful, press the like and subscribe button. And feel free to check out my other videos if you haven't yet. And if you like watching Twitch streams, check out our Carol on his Twitch. I'll leave a link in the description. I can answer most of your questions live in his Twitch chat usually. 9 to 12 midnight.